Hey, good morning. Uh, I'm Jeff Harrison, my partner. I'm Amy Anderson. Welcome to the Golf Shop TV. Um, Amy, you know, the weather here is getting greater, and uh, but I understand in other parts of the world it is terrible. I know we're going to get into that in a moment, but uh, um, excuse me because there's, some, <laughs> there's a few bugs out. You know, as our air dries out, we get a few more bugs, but... Uh, so what's going on? We had a great week last week. Well, we did. You know, it was the BMW Championship at Crick and Stick. Rory won. I guess this guy's the real thing. Well, my question <laughs> to you now, they posed that I read this in the newspaper, is when he plays his best, can anyone beat him? And they said no, and I think that's wrong. Yeah, I disagree with that. Uh, you know, I, I, I really do. Um, there's so many great players on the tour out there, and you know, I, I, I still think, yeah, I still think there's plenty of room for him to get better. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I shouldn't say get better, but I think there's still plenty of room for him to be beaten by people that are really well, good Well, definitely, out there. definitely. Um, you know, I thought he played, he was unbelievable, but, you know, I keep going back to Tiger at uh, Congressional this year. What a solid, you know, four days of golf he had there. Um, Phil Mickelson had a great week this week, came up just a little shy. You know, they're saying, is he back? Did he, I mean. It was fun to see Phil Mickelson, yeah. you know, actually on <clears throat> Sunday on TV before the leaders teed off. That was really nice to see. Um, you know, there was a statistic, and I'm sure you're going to talk about it, but I, I, so not to steal your thunder, but I'm going to anyway, <laughs> is, you know, they gave this statistic about what we would call great players and how much they'd achieved at a certain age. And I think Rory had, had, had won five, PGA Tour events by his 24, you know, by age 24, and Tiger was at 15. Hmm. And so, it's almost like when things started out when Tiger was doing it, and everybody wanted to compare it to Jack Nicklaus. His numbers were at or equal to or even above Nicklaus. Mm -hmm. Now, to me, that's saying, hey, is this the next guy? It's just like on the ladies' tour, Yanni Sang. We yeah. thought she was just going to be the next Annika Sorenstam. Where's she been? Where's she been? Well, well, we'll get into the LPGA later. So anyway, later. <laughs> I, I look at that and think, think, you know what? Maybe it's a little, it's a little too early to start comparing him to the greatest players on the planet and say, hey, right now he is playing great. He is. He and is. And he deserves that. He does. Um, another good round of golf this, or three rounds, would be VJ Singh. You know, and I sit there going, okay, so we didn't do so well on Sunday, but watch out, Champions Tour. I mean, 54 holes, that guy was, ah, he was unbelievable. Yeah. So much fun to watch. You know, he may be, he may be that guy that says, hey, he won more tournaments after the age of 40 on the regular tour yep. and most tournaments after the age of 50 on the Champions yep. Tour. I don't, I, it's going to be a blast to watch. So, and I love watching him with that uh, belly putter. Oh, hey, and you got a belly I, putter. Well, I got the exact same belly putter. I don't have the fat uh, handle on it. But it's pretty fun to play around with. That thing and, did look like a baseball yeah. bat. Yeah. And then Lee Westwood. Mm. Hello. Welcome back, Lee. Yeah. It's fun. He has such a great swing and so much power into that swing. I love watching him swing the club. Yeah. So now, you know, the final for the FedEx uh, Championships in another week. Um, but uh, the points list goes Rory, then Tiger, Nick Watney, which, boy, he just... He didn't play so well this last no, week. Yeah, he just no. kind of mailed it in. Yeah. And, you know... Got there. I'm not exactly sure I would pull for him. Then Phil. Phil, well, he moved from like what number 12 to number yeah. four. That's huge because yep. now he he controls his own destiny. He right? does. You Math know, is not the issue. You know, and I pulled for him last week. I kind of picked him. I thought he was kind of flying in under the radar. You did say yep. that. So the first guy I got right this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other ones you intimidate. You oh, is that what it is? Them. I'm the scary Especially when you person. had that big hat on of of, uh, of Ricky Fowler's. I yeah. love that. And then we've got Brant Snedeker, your favorite Shrek, Louis Oosthuizen. Boy, there's another guy that kind of came yeah. from the moon, and now he's, uh, I love it. Yep. And then uh, Dustin Johnson, Lee Westwood, Zach, and Bubba. What can you say? I, I can't wait for uh, next Thursday yep. to crank it up. I'm a little concerned, though. Our local channel, our local uh, uh, cable provider, all of a sudden, in my office, I don't have a cable box, Amy. Right. And I, I go to watch the, the golf channel. It's not on. And I'm like, what happened? So I go into the other room, and it works on H on the HD if you have a box. So I have to do something about that before next. Yeah, week, maybe like, they change channels. 
Well, I remember getting something in the mail, not trying to rag on or promote Time Warner, but uh, they said something about they were doing some changes and they were going to move some channels hmm. to only the higher because they're eventually going to uh, move all digital and we could go down and get a box for free. And so I guess it's time for me to make that trek hmm. down to uh, get a box I for guess free. I guess I'd probably do that too. Yeah. Anyways, now nothing really going on in th the men's tour this week. Uh, the champions are in Hawaii. Yep. So, but the ladies, first of all, we should wrap up last week with the ladies. How about Paula Kramer? <sighs> <laughs> wow. She had a fantastic week and uh Jija Shin. Yep. Is that who beat her? Jija Shin, yep. Nine hole playoff. That that's was serious that's golf. A, that's impressive. So yeah, they, uh you know, it was, it was just a tragic way that she she lost. They want either one of them to lose, but it was just tragic, you know, to lose the playoff the same way you forced the playoff. Yeah. Oh, actually, you're right because she did a uh, three putt number 18 to get into the playoff. Yeah. Uh, anyways, she was a very gracious loser. Yeah, I thought, you know, I, I suspect because of that, um, I kind of think it's like hardening metal. I think she's going to come back and play a little mm -hmm. bit better. And, and uh, you know, she's still got a win or two in her, I think, I think before the end of the year. Yeah. Now, the ladies this week are over in uh, at Holyoke. Yeah, Burr. it's freezing cold over there. If you watched any coverage yesterday, everybody had on ski hats, two pairs of gloves. Yeah, not my cu cup of tea. Today it looks like the scores. What do you mean? You used to play golf in that weather all the time, Amy. <laughs> not anymore. I've grown up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, low, low score today is minus two. Actually, Haiji Kang, um, my nephew played with her at the Dinosaur, which oh, is really? always oh. sort of kind of fun to watch her there. And then oh, Sophie Gustafson, plus 10. Ouch. Yeah, so, Ouch. Um, you know, cool thing this week is Lydia Ko, the little, uh, she's not little actually, the 15-year-old uh, amateur is over there. She shot even par today. That's, that's pretty amazing because last night I caught a little bit on the, uh, uh, the Ladies Women's Open and they were talking about the people to watch and they said Paula Clymer. And Lydia Ko yeah. was number two on there, and it's just because she is, you know, look at her golf swing, and we're both golf professionals, and we've looked at thousands of swings. I mean, it's pretty darn solid. There's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of fluff in that swing. Now, here's something kind of, I mean, it's scary. At age nine, they took her swing and compared it to today, and it's exactly the same. Oh, boy. Wow. Well, you know... <laughs> That's spooky. Yeah. Now they're at Royal Liverpool, and that's where Bobby Jones won his, uh, when he won the Grand Slam of golf. That's where he won ah, there. So well, you're yeah. always at, you're the, like data tech. I love that. I know. I love that. But we think she's little. She's five foot six. She's taller than you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just. Kidding. Yeah, she's she's a pretty tall guy. I think yeah. that's great. Maybe that's what the you know the fact that. You know, when her mental maturity, although it sounds like her mental maturity is right there as well, she's still a kid. She's she is, kid. and she's paired with a kid. She's with Lexi Thompson this or today and tomorrow. How dynamic is that? Yeah. Group? How fun is that? I, I, that's, great. that's great. So some pretty good scores over there. I was I was checking here. Uh, Julie Inkster had a rough day today. She mm. was uh, 79. Now Yanni Singh, who's going for the hat trick this week, shot even par today. Okay. So, okay. And she said she was inspired by Rory. You know, Rory kind of fell off leaderboard and then has come back recently and she wants to do the same thing so maybe this motivation yeah it'd be easy it'd be fun to get in her head and say hey what happened yeah and what is it going to take to get back there so but uh, she's still young i mean even if she wins uh this week she's won six majors faster than any man it's pretty impressive yeah. no that's real impressive yeah real impressive you know a couple things amy before we get uh, before we begin to wrap up i want to mention too there's a couple of uh pretty significant amateur events going on this week. Which are they? Well, you've got the Women's Senior mm -hmm. Amateur. And you know, every time I think of Women's Senior Amateur, I think of, of Carol Semple Thompson, because she just dominated that. And I, you know, I don't know, uh, it was unexpected to be bringing this up. I think it's because the sun caught me in the eye. I got thinking about that. I don't know where she is as far as in the world of golf right now, but you know, it's neat to see someone like that that dominates for such a long period of time. Uh, when I was at Mission Hills Country Club, I got to see her come out and practice, and man, she is a machine. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then also, the men's mid-amateur is this week. Oh, cool. Now, where's that at? Do you know? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> They're playing golf at a golf course. But I just want to mention, there's still some golf going on, and it kind of fits sandwich right in there between, you know, the... The, the last player event and the tour championship and then you know the, the ladies women's uh, British Open because of the way it's played so early in the morning so cool 
cool. Well, we let we uh, just kind of wrap things up. We did meet a super nice lady uh, recently. Her name's Elaine <gasps> Newbro, and she owns uh, reversible golf shirts. And so she gave me a shirt to wear today. That is. Uh... Man, I tell you, I feel like I'm underdressed, but that's a great looking shirt, Amy. Well, tell the, us a little bit cool about our business. Of, well, the cool thing about this, okay, so reversible golf shirt. I think we both thought, okay, you spill ketchup on your shirt, you turn it inside out. No, she's targeting the uh, ladies' team play. So lots of times they have away and home shirts. And so you have one side, it's the home, and then on the inside, this is all purple. Do you want to change that? Right? No. no okay. oh. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so you can go to our website, reversiblegolfshirts.com, or is it golfteamshirts.com is the other one? Teamgolfshirts.com is the other one. She's a, she is such a dynamic lady. Yeah. She, I, she's like the she's like the ever ready or the 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 bunny. You know, every time we go in there, it's like as soon as she as soon as she sees us, it's like oh, she's a pretty. I love that kind yeah. of person. So, but anyways. beautiful stuff. They do yeah. all kinds of prints and now does she make does she make full like pants and everything? She's starting to. Now, the one thing about the tops, and you know, I've bought for ladies' team play before, and you know, everyone's kind of in the EP Pro look. You're wearing EP Pro, I'm wearing EP Pro. Every, every team gets a unique shirt. I think that's cool. So you never look like the other team. So now, how do, how do they get a hold of her again? Well, they can go to reversiblegolfshirt.com okay. or teamgolfshirt.com. How cool is Oh, that? actually, it's thereversiblegolfshirt.com. The reversal golf. We'll put we'll it on there. Put yeah. it on there. Yeah, that's great. And you know, she's uh, so now you're going to be wearing her her stuff on the show, huh? Yeah, every once in a while. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, that's great. Um, any last thoughts before we go? No. Who's going to win the ladies' women's open, the women's uh, British Open? Any any thoughts? I don't think Sophie's going to win, but hey, you never know. Well, I, I read something. Is this the year of the Brits? Because you look at Andy Murray wins the, um, the Wimbledon <sighs> and cool. the the Olympics. Um, you have Rory. So there's this uh, girl, her name is Charlie. Let me double check her name. Charlie Hull, and she's uh, near the top. Charlie and she's Hall. from England. And I thought, well, there's a name of out of the path. Or, never, you know. <laughs> never heard, but, you know, never heard of the name Charlie Hull before. It's yeah. interesting. Well, so. well, hey, enjoy golf this weekend. Uh, make sure to, uh, hey, invite a friend to watch our show. And, uh, We'll see you next week. I'm Jeff Harrison. I'm Amy Anderson. For the Golf Shop TV.